hey y'all it's t and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be outside on the back porch trying to get that cleaned up so that we can enjoy it for the day i'll also be preparing a quick dinner and then i'll be moving into the guest bedroom to get that refreshed with a couple of items that i just purchased recently so if you need to get any type of cleaning or cooking done in your home on today go ahead and take me along with you because this is our time to get it all done together So we recently had some storms here with some high winds that blew my planters over the moss that was in there that did not work out here it's just too windy out here so i replaced that with the rocks i just have to use the moss inside of the house but anyway i'm going to just continue on to get all of that cleaned up and then i'm also going to be getting rid of this cover that you see that has ripped It basically dry rotted because i had it for the length of time that i had this sectional which has been about three years almost three years and it's dry rotted and i'll show you guys the replacement in just a little while so for those of you that are new here my name is t the majority of the content that you'll be seeing from me will be cleaning motivation but you'll also see home decor a little bit of shopping home improvement projects, home DIY projects, organizational videos, and any other type of home-related video or content that I can think of, I will be posting it here 
on this channel so if any of that content interests you go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post a brand new video so i post brand new videos on monday evenings any other extra content that i may have i will be posting those types of videos on the weekend so while i am on that subject i wanted to go ahead and ask you guys what is something that you would like to see on my channel that i do not offer currently i kind of know what most of you may say but i'm just kind of preparing myself and y'all know that i always want to give y'all content that you are looking for so anything that you are you know interested in seeing on my channel just drop me down a comment in the comment section i am eager to know what you would like to see i'm thinking of just you know switching it up just a little bit not saying that i'm bored or that you guys may be bored but it's nothing wrong with a little change here and there so just let me know down in the comment section so you know what time it is i want to go ahead and give this week's channel shout out so this week's shout out goes out to journey with the hintons y'all let me tell you about this channel this channel i found monique's monique and her husband actually but i found her channel when she had maybe about like thirteen thousand subscribers and i have just watched her grown so so much y'all it's just amazing to see so she is a former nurse practitioner who turned into a youtuber when the pandemic came around a whole lot of people made changes and she's one of the ones that made those changes but her channel is amazing on her channel she offers a wide variety of information from youtube building like start not your channel she does um side hustle videos like how you can make money online she does um finance videos credit building videos she shows you how to edit videos or how to make certain products to sell on amazon she just does a whole lot and that's not even all that she does over there so if you are looking for different channels to check out definitely check her channel out and if you decide to go over to check her channel out let her know that t sent you and i will have it linked down in my description box so here you see me taking the cover off i actually purchased the new one from Amazon and I will put the size of it up on the screen and I will have it linked down in the description box. Um, it did take me a little bit to kind of figure out which way it was supposed to turn, but I wanted to make sure that everything that I put up under here would be protected. So that's why I went on and put it on and then pulled it right back off to make sure I didn't need to send it back or anything like that. And it does have like straps and the little um, drawstrings on the bottom that you can tighten it up or whatever you need to do. Give you 
Y'all, this is probably the best day for us to come out and sit on the porch all day. It's raining. It's cool. We got the fans on. So, yeah. We just going to chill out here for the rest of the day. It's like, what time is it? It's right at 12 noon. So, yeah. This is going to be our chill out spot for today. Just to chill out, listen to the rain, watch some TV, have some lunch, possibly dinner. <laughs> Yeah, definitely going to be the hangout spot today. quick recipe together that was shared with me by one of my friends we'll post the link to the video in the description box so i'm about to start the rice before i cook the meat this is two cups of rice that i'm going to cook in my instapot i do not use a rice cook i, I use my instapot um instead i know a lot of people are <laughs> intimidated by pressure cookers but i promise you it's really really easy and once you get used to it you'll be trying to put everything up in there but anyway two cups of rice to two cups of water you're going to put it on four minutes and let the pressure release off of it naturally and your rice will be done so i think the pressure release is like um 15 minutes so a total of 19 minutes and your rice will be done so i'm gonna go ahead and wash the rice and put it in the pot with some salt and then let it cook So after you add your salt, you want to go ahead and put your top on. Make sure it's locked. And then make sure that you are on sealing because you do not want it to be on vent because your pressure will not build that way. 
All right, so now that the top is on, everything is sealed up, it's time to turn the Instapot on. Now my Instapot does have a rice setting, but I do not use that because when I learned to use my Instapot, it was always just time settings with the pressure releases. So that's how I continue to use it. So to, to turn it on, you just press the manual button, it turns on. And it will probably still be set for what you cook last. I cooked some sweet potatoes, so it's still set at 25 minutes. So you want to put it down to four minutes. After you get to four minutes, you just leave it alone. It will start up by itself. It's going to cook for four minutes and then do a natural pressure release for 15 minutes. And there it is. Don't touch it. <laughs> All right, so what I'll be making is a recipe called firecracker chicken, but I am making the milder version because I'm trying to make it kid friendly and tea friendly as well because I am not a fan of super spicy food. But if you would like to, I will put a picture up of the oil that you can use to make it a little spicy. That oil will be what you will brown off your meat in versus using the olive oil. So for ingredients, and I'm actually going to double this recipe because I have two pounds of ground chicken instead of one. So I have a cup of brown sugar right here, a half a cup of Frank's red hot sauce, but you can use any buffalo sauce that you would like. I also have four tablespoons of rice vinegar right here. And then in this bowl, I have two teaspoons of garlic, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, and then for the ginger, I have this um, ginger paste that I'm going to use. The recipe does call for ground ginger, but you can use whatever you have. So I'm going to throw in two tables, not two tablespoons, two teaspoons of this. So let's go ahead and get the sauce mixed up. my stove set on medium high heat and I just added a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil in the pan. I'm going to let that heat up and then I'm going to add my meat to it. So once you put the chicken in the pan, you want to leave it alone and let it get a little crispy on the bottom before you break it up and before you start stirring it all together to finish cooking. So back over to the instant pot the rice is actually cooked that l o means like whatever that means but it's kind of like 19 minutes after it stopped remember i said 15 minutes that's when your pressure is completely gone now if you decide to cook your rice a different way and take your top off before then you would have to Turn your valve to venting and let the pressure off. As you can see, there's no pressure. You would hear it go off just like a traditional pressure cooker if the pressure were still there. But now the pressure is completely gone and it's safe to take the top off. So let's check on the rice. 
So just FYI, while that pressure is releasing, your food is actually still cooking. So don't think that, okay, I can cook rice in four minutes and take the top off. Your rice will still be raw. So we can go ahead and take it off. And you can see that the rice is perfectly cooked. And I'm just forking it through. Rice is completely done. No butter or anything. If you want to add butter or whatever you want to do to your rice, that's fine. But this is completely done. And let me show y'all that it does not stick to the bottom. All right. So the rice is done. We're gonna go ahead and unplug this and then go back to our meat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my meat chopper to break this meat up. going to stir it around just a little bit more but it is done I'm going to go ahead and add the sauce and then the sauce is going to caramelize for a couple minutes and then I'll come back Alright y'all, so that is the finished product of the meal that I cooked. It was really good. In the future, when I prepare it again, I will be leaving the red pepper flakes out because it was a little too spicy for me. But my husband and V loved it, of all people. V was eating more of it than I was. But anyway, um, we are now in the guest bedroom. I'm going to get this room just tidied up just a little bit. And this duster that I'll be using to reach the high places in here, I purchased from TJ Maxx. It was $7 and it reaches up to nine feet. So you don't need a ladder. You can just stand on the floor and get all of your cleaning done. All right, so we are a little over halfway through today's video. If you are still here with me, getting some things done along with me, or just simply enjoying the video, go ahead and leave me down a blue emoji down in the comment section so that I know that you're still here.
right, so if you do not know how to do hospital corners on a bed, you're about to learn today because I'm about to make this bed up a couple times because I put a new quilt on the bed and I didn't like it, especially with the pillows and everything that I had. I was trying to change it up, but it just wasn't. It just wasn't doing right. It just wasn't looking right. It just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. So I put back on my previous quilt that I love so, so much. I just ended up putting that one back on the bed. I guess maybe the material of the bed, it was clashing with that other quilt. I don't know. But anyway, you'll see what I ended up doing. I can see me walking around this bed like mm -mm, this is not right <laughs> so i'm going to take it apart and just fyi if you are wondering how the um quilt is long enough to cover the mattress and the box spring this is a king size quilt on a queen size bed um i do the same in my other guest room as well i kind of have the same setup on the bed and i buy king size like quilts of course sheets will be queen size but quilts and bedspreads and all of that is definitely king size to make sure everything is covered the way that i want it to and if you are interested in this quilt set maybe you like it for your bed or the one that i'm going to put back on this bed both of them came from amazon and i will have them linked down in the description box <music> Wow. 
Whenever you're down Out in the cold Faithless and dark Your story's untold Come take my hand And walk there with me As you're about to see, I finally got my life together in this room. Sometimes it's just best to leave things how they are. I know sometimes you try to do new things, but until you find that new thing that really is going to work for real, it's okay just to leave things how they are. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. I put it exactly the way that I've had it. So anyway, we are down to the last couple minutes of today's video. I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you found motivation to get some things done in your home. Thank y'all so much for spending some time with me today for the comments on the last video welcoming me back i really 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 miss y'all on mondays like seriously so thank y'all once again for always supporting and showing up no matter when i post so i want to go ahead and thank you guys so so much for watching this week's video and i will see you all in the next one